And now it's my pleasure to introduce to you um, a very dear friend of mine. He is the President's Science Advisor, the, the Director of the Office of Science and Technology Policy, and a guy who was sweating through this. And uh, as he told me a little while ago, he thought he was going to throw up at one point. <laughs> And he's probably mad because I told you that, but my friend, Dr. John Holdren. I wanted to start by saying thank you for sharing that, Charlie. <laughs> well, today on Mars, history was made on Earth. The successful landing of Curiosity, which is, as Charlie has said, the most sophisticated roving laboratory ever sent to another planet, marks what is really an unprecedented technological tour de force. It will stand as an American point of pride far into the future. It's also just the latest example of a longstanding truth about the United States, that even the longest of odds are no match for America's unique blend of technical acumen and gutsy determination. Our, and that's certainly for all of the folks at JPL, at Caltech, at NASA, and our partners whose instruments, as Charlie has pointed out, were on this, uh, this lander. Uh, thanks, big thanks are due uh, to all of them. Our continued preeminence and progress in space and here on Earth, in other domains such as biomedicine and healthcare, clean energy, national security, advanced manufacturing, all of this depends on our continuing commitment to science, technology, and innovation, and the passion for adventure that has driven us to explore new worlds. By sustaining our investments in basic research and exploration, we ensure that America will remain at the forefront of the scientific frontier. So I really want to personally congratulate on behalf of myself, but also on behalf of my boss, President Obama, the team here at JPL at NASA and around the country that contributed to this spectacular achievement. I can only imagine what incredible data and new understandings are going to be uncovered in the coming days, months, and years because of this success. Landing the Mars Science Laboratory rover, Curiosity, on the surface of the Red Planet was by any measure the most challenging mission ever attempted in the history of robotic planetary exploration. And if anybody has been harboring doubts about the status of U.S. leadership in space, well, there's a one-ton automobile-sized piece of American ingenuity <laughs> on the, uh, that is... <clears throat> And it's sitting on the surface of Mars right now, and it should certainly put any such doubts to rest. President Obama has challenged America, as Administrator Bolden just said, to send humans to Mars in the 2030s. And Curiosity is going to provide critical information about the Red Planet and what our astronauts will find once they arrive. The administration is committed to a vibrant and coordinated strategy of Mars exploration and planetary exploration more generally, and continuing America's leadership here on Earth and throughout the solar system. So congratulations again, and long live American curiosity. Thank you.